The world watched the water take over New Orleans six years ago when the levees breached after Katrina hit. Now some of those breach locations are being recognized nationally. WDSU anchor Melanie Abear on your side with that story. It's a reminder for us to, to stay involved. Cindy Segrist and Craig Berthold are thankful for that sign that marks the site of the 17th Street Canal levee breach. That people will bring flowers and things like this and in memory of, of what happened here. It recognizes the engineering failure that flooded their Lakeview neighborhood. And it's thanks in part to levees.org founder Sandy Rosenthal. Myths were being spread all over the country about what happened here, that the levees failures were our fault, that we're lazy, that we knew the levees could break, but we stayed here anyway. Now, after leading six months of research and documentation, Sandy says the 17th Street Canal and the Industrial Canal levee breach sites are officially nominees for the National Register of Historic Places. The 28-page documentation is now part of a public file that federal agencies must use when they go near these breach sites. A formal a PowerPoint must be given before the State Review Committee in August. We're prepared for that. But I've spoken to the Office of Historic Preservation, and they said in 18 years, no nomination has ever been turned down. Although only two sites have been nominated right now, levees.org does plan to include about seven total locations in the National Register where the levees breached during Katrina. And that includes here at the London Avenue Canal in Gentilly. And it's obvious that this neighborhood is still trying to come back six years later. It recognizes and honors the people who died in this neighborhood and I think often of the like the older people who went up to their attics and, and just died in, in the heat and di dehydration and second it kind of puts the makes the core accountable. This is for, for New Orleanians an opportunity to set the record straight. We'll preserve history and we're going to record it properly. On your side Melanie Hebert WDSU News.